Greetings to all our Dominican family worldwide. Rosary Monastery is pleased to share with you some of the highlights of our Dominican family in Trinidad and Tobago. We began our Jubilee celebrations with a procession around our cloister of members of all the branches of our Dominican family, carrying the symbols of the book, the staff, the candles into our chapel. We had planned to have a monthly gathering inviting all the members of the Dominican family to present on different topics like prayer, fasting, jubilee, and we also invited experts on the environment, ecumenism, human trafficking. And our last session in January would be presented by members of the Dominican Volunteers International and our Dominican youth. Little did we understand the implications of that invitation because we thought, well, the first meeting we would have about, if three people came, we'll work with three, but more than 50 turned up and that kept going month after month after month. The quality of the presentations, the participation, we began each session with the Dominican song, Benedicere. Then we went into the presentations. Then we had questions, answers, comments. And we closed each session with night prayer, singing the Salve Regina. And we have never lost momentum. Now what has happened over this period is that we have come to know one another as family. We interact with each other as family. The Dominican family help us with finances, keeping the grounds, doing so many things for us that we never dreamt could be done before. And what we can see emerging from this is something much bigger than we could ever think. There is definitely a Dominican preaching when we close with our celebration in January from the Friars Priory in Holy Cross, we would reverse the procession. We would have a Mass for the whole family and anyone who wants to, to, um, to participate. Then at the end of the Mass, we would give tokens of appreciation to those who have helped us and to those who have kept the impetus going. And after that, there would be a family day, a sports day, where people would picnic and just have fun. And the big question is, where do we go from here? So we see it as the beginning of a preaching mission, a holy preaching for the Dominican family in Trinidad and Tobago.